what's up guys it's me cloud gaming i'm bringing another gta online video in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a review of the presser mark 2 what's good about it what's bad about it is it as overpowered as everyone says and whether or not you should buy it um i obviously have uh i bought it uh on i didn't buy it on sale but i bought the presser mark 1 on sale but uh yeah that's what i'm going to be doing today is telling you guys whether or not you should buy it so I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the bad things first. First of all, first off, um, if you're going on a straight and or straight road like this, um, it's actually not as fast as the original version. Um, the original version, all you have to do to get a boost is you have to touch the ground. This one, you have have to actually wait. You can't be um, driving. You have to let it go by itself, and then you can get a boost, which actually makes it slower than the original. Um, another thing is that it actually cannot um, do as many things as the original can. Um, you can't actually, if you're just driving normally uh, like this, usually you can't actually jump off. I'm not sure why it actually, why it let me jump off that time, but um, usually it doesn't let me jump off if I'm not driving at, or if I'm not boosted. It might have just been because I just recently boosted, but usually it doesn't let me jump off. And then third of all, um, it actually, from my experience, makes you more of a target. Um, I guess, well, I, I don't guess, but I know that um, in my, from what I used to think, um, oppressor, people think that oppressors, um, are two owners, usually are griefers, usually are uh, just pe toxic people, and basically just that they aren't really caring much about how much money or what you're doing and they just want to kill you um so therefore they kind of the irony is they go after you um and that's not very good whenever you're actually trying to make a sale or doing one of those or doing anything like that um when you're getting people going after you because they think that you're going to go after them um which makes you more likely to get targeted. But on to the good things. One of the good things is if somebody is going after you and they're shooting missiles at you, you can buy flares so that whenever they do shoot off missiles at you, you can dodge them. Um, there's also the fact that you can fly in the air for unlimited amounts of time. Um, as long as you're moving and don't get kicked, you can fly from in the air, um, which is a lot better compared to the Impressor Mark 1, where you actually have to touch the ground before you lose speed. Um, another good thing is this is actually a really good grinding vehicle, um, considering you can stay in the air, considering you can um, have lock-on missiles, which actually lock on to NPCs. You can actually shoot missiles at those NPCs, which uh, then lock on, and you can, and with how fast it is, you can say your business is getting raided, you can go all the way to your business and then shoot the missiles uh, if they have the hostages stop them and then get it done way faster than if you were to be doing it with the oppressor mark one because you are less likely to again an another thing that uh, is better you're less likely to crash like for example if I fly straight into this it's not gonna affect me much um, whereas if I flew into it with the oppressor I'd fall off and probably die instantly um, so, out of 10, I'd probably give the Mark II a 7, I'd give it an 8, actually, uh, 7.58, eight. um, the only reason I wouldn't give it a 9 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, is just because, not necessarily because of the vehicle itself, which, yes, there are downsides, you can't boost as much, and, um, you can't call it in for five minutes, which is another bad thing about the Oppressor Mark II, but also because you're more likely to be targeted, um, which with all the positives, um, it being faster without boost, and it being a good grinding vehicle and everything like that, the fact that you can't call it in for five minutes and you're getting targeted kind of balances it out, which I think would give it a, a more of a 7.5, which means it's, it's better than average. It's actually good, but it... Um, and it is a good, uh, 
it is a good grinding vehicle, but it is, I would say it's not the best vehicle in the game, uh, for a multitude of reasons, and, uh, so, yeah, in the next video, in the next video, I'll be going over the Oppressor Mark 1, so watch out for that, it'll be up tomorrow, and goodbye.